So I have to tell you, the, I can't remember whether I, well, I know I didn't have Nick the very first time I ever went to Ireland. And I had, thanks to QVC, quite a few opportunities to go and visit these wonderful vendors. And I think one of the trips, obviously later, one of the trips, I knew that we were planning a family, and one of the first things I ever bought for Nicole was an Irish, a little Irish blanket. This is not a little Irish blanket, and I love that, and that will be passed down hopefully one day to my grandchildren. But what I'm showing you right now is a one-of-a-kind throw. This throw is magnificent. I'll open it up in a second. I just want you to see the colors first, all right? This is finally back in stock. It's customer top rated. It gets rave reviews. Somehow this merino wool is like, it's the quality. It's super, super soft quality on this wool that you're going to get. Um, it's sold out so many times. You are getting it on sale today. So we snuck it under $100. Five Easy pays at $18.99. So let me stand up so you could see. This is your oat color, just like in the sweater. Here is going to be your beautiful blue. And do we just call that blue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your blue. You can see how beautiful blue sailing. And then down here in front of me, you're going to find, this is ocean gray. Next to ocean gray is going to be rose. Next to that is going to be your classic Aryan in your natural color, and then sea foam green. These are large. They're going to be 71 by 38 inches wide. I'm gonna take the blue, because I think you'll probably be able to see the details. And let me show you the size of these. Look at the size of this. It's less than $100, and you know we can all use zillion throws on the back of a chair, on a sofa, on a bed. They're great housewarming, they're lovely wedding gifts. I mean, I can go on and on and on on this, and when you get this one home, you don't even have to believe me, you can read the reviews. Karen Costello is with us from Kilronan, and Karen, this throw is amazing. How are you? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I did the same to you, Pat. Uh, Thank great you. to be here. Thank you. The pleasure's all ours. This throw, first of all, when I walked over it to look at it, the feel. Yes. This is even softer than our sweaters, I think. Yes, it is. Uh, and the reason for that is that, um, I mean, all of our sweaters, which we offer on QVC, they're all made from 100% uh, merino wool. And of course, that really is the defining characteristic of merino. It is that beautiful soft handle. But this brings it really to um, yet another higher level again. This is what we call our super soft merino wool. Um, so really, it's almost like a cashmere feel and uh, really and truly extraordinarily soft. Um, you know, as you probably know, like merino wool, uh, merino sheep, they are bred for their fleece and not for their flesh. And um, as I say, the super soft is the very pinnacle of the merino wool spectrum. I think one of the, for me, one of the most memorable things about visiting Ireland the very first time was seeing the countryside, seeing the sheep roaming around, and then finding out why some of them had a marking on them. And I guess... Yes. Karen, if I'm correct, that's so you could tell whose sheep belong to whom. <laughs> exactly, because um, so much uh, in particular um, of the west of Ireland, uh, the farms very often, uh, they are what we call a you know, commonage. And what that means really is that many farmers would um, actually use the same land. So the only ah. way that they can actually distinguish between their sheep and uh, their neighbours is uh, by virtue of the family markings. So in actual fact, it's not unlike um, the fact that um, Aaron Knitwear itself um, you know, is uh, very unique and has been unique to different families over many generations. Um, likewise, um, with the sheep, uh, they must have special markings on them so that uh, they can make that distinction. Well, the amount of different cables, and most of you are buying here, again, more than one, because, you know, and hopefully, Karen, in Ireland, we are having the opportunity to go back out again. So there's weddings, and there's showers, and there's babies being born. Over 400 of you have, have dialed in. Look, take a look at the size of this. And to know that you got something that was made in Ireland. Can you talk to me, Karen, about some of the stitch work that you did? 
Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, and of course, um, the defining hallmark of our, all Aran knitwear is the stitch detail, that's a uh, you know, massively complex, intricate stitch detail, um, each of which tells its own story. And uh, so, <clears throat> Uh, in this blanket, we have um, essentially it's a mosaic or a patchwork of many of the most famous of the iron stitches. So at the moment, what you're looking at there is uh, the diamond stitch, and the diamond um, is obviously one of the most famous of the iron stitches. And of course, each stitch deeply symbolic. So the diamond uh, wishing the wearer uh, success and wealth. And then within that diamond, you can see there that there's actually a cable detail uh, built into the diamond. And uh, the cable is probably the most common of all the iron stitches. And uh, the cable is um, inspired by the fisherman's rope. And of course, um, in the same way that you have many different uh, patterns in fisherman's ropes, likewise, that's also reflected in our garments and in our blankets. And then besides that, you have uh, what we call the link stitch. And uh, the link stitch is inspired by people's desire to keep in touch with uh, those that may have passed away or indeed those that might have immigrated. Um, obviously, we don't really have that problem so much today. But of course, in bygone days, so many Irish people, as we all know, immigrated to North America. And it was that desire to keep in touch with their relatives uh, that inspired the link stitch. And um, right beside the link stitch, then we have what we call the moss stitch. And the moss stitch is uh, symbolic of carrageen moss, which is a form of uh, seaweed that people in the west of Ireland uh, to this day um, consume, uh, a very healthy product. And um, because the people in the Iron Islands, I mean, they used uh, so much, they used their family values, their religion, uh, their, way, their way of living, uh, their local environment. They used all those elements of their lives to provide them with inspiration for the different stitches. Karen, to me, this throw, and I think to a lot of our viewers at home, and I love the idea that everybody's shopping with us early in the day, because these have sold out every single, well, I won't say every single time, the majority of times we've ever been able to bring them to you. 550 have already been ordered. There you can see how lovely just cascaded over that chair that you have at home. This symbolism of family, of life, of spirit, is so represented in these throws. It's an opportunity and it's merino wool and the softest. Here's That's a right. baby gift. Here's an opportunity to get a gift for a young couple who's starting out anew. For someone who perhaps is at the end of the journey of their life and you're looking for a way as they are in memory support or they're in long-term care or something like that to bring comfort to them this will bring comfort to you as this will live on for generations. Let me go through and show the colors if you don't mind. I will tell you this blue, very, very popular, 300 to go around. Wouldn't this be a fabulous baby gift? I mean, in the blue, this is also a very, very popular color. That's gonna be your seafoam green, 300 there. The natural is always very popular. That's very traditional. Here's your beautiful rose color, and this could be used in a bedroom. It could be used anywhere um, on a leather sofa. Next to that is going to be your ocean gray and a little bit of a blue gray in that. And then- Yes, Pat, if, yes. if, I, might, if, I, if I might just say oh, in regards in regard to the colours, mm -hmm. that they are all very richly marled colours. Yes. So, of course, as you say, there can be, as you say, in the ocean grey, there's also a hint of blue. Absolutely, you are correct there. That is the beauty of the marled colours, where you have more than one colour mixed in together, and it just gives a very rich textured effect, and you can see it there um, in the uh, in the wicker that you're looking at. Yeah. Uh, so those two or three tone makes a big difference. And this is going to be our toasted oat. So lots of color, they're absolutely beautiful. Kieran, um, I think anyone who gets this at home is gonna be blown away at the quality. I Thank think you so. so much and happy St. Patrick's Day to you and yours. And the same to you, Pat. Thanks Thank very you. much. Bye for now. All right, we're 15 minutes away from today's special.